I am still in Toronto and today I'm going on a trip down south. About an hour and a half from here you'll find the great Niagara Falls and I'm so excited to see it. Guys, we're here! This is the Niagara Falls. Amazing, huh? We are standing on the Canadian side right now and over there is the American side, but we have the border over on that side and there's actually quite neat because there's a flag, like a Canadian flag and an American flag to symbolize that it's right in between the two countries. So I kind of like that. Did you know it's actually quite a popular spot for honeymooners? And it became super popular in 1953 after the release of the movie Niagara with Marilyn Monroe. So a lot of honeymooners come here, but it's not just them, it's also families, you know, kids, couples, anyone can come here. It's quite touristy, but so, so nice. So there are three falls here. There's the Bridal Veil Fall, which is a smaller one. Uh, we have the American Fall over there, and over there is the Canadian side and the big Horseshoe Fall. And it's called the Horseshoe Fall because it's kind of shaped like a horseshoe. It actually drops down 57 meters and it's 790 meters wide, which is huge. So I've seen that they have some really neat boats down there going into the falls and I just have to do that. So let's go do it. So I think one of the boats are coming in right now. It looks like there are several boats. So whichever one comes you can just hop on it. It looks like people are wearing some kind of a poncho, so hopefully I'll get one of those too, because I don't want to get soaked. So we're gonna wait in line. Looks like it's moving pretty fast, so it shouldn't be too bad. Got my ticket. Now it's time to get the raincoat. Hi, how are you? Hi. Thank you. Thank you so much. Time to put this on. Oh, right. I don't actually know how to do this. Oh, here we go. How do I look? Perfect, right? <laughs> okay, so they're emptying the boat right now, so it's our time to get on the boat. It's getting real, guys. This is it. I'm getting on, this is it. I'm on the boat. It actually doesn't feel that bad. I thought I was gonna be more nervous than I actually am. Right now it feels good. And the view is great, so I don't even think about being scared right now. Wow. As we make our way up the Niagara River, I'm, get, I'm getting a little wet. Really misty here. There we go. Much better. Yay! <laughs> wow. It's actually a lot more misty and windy than I thought it was going to be, but I'm glad I have my poncho because at least it's keeping me somewhat dry. <laughs> okay, so this is this is the American side of the falls. I don't know if you can see, but there's a few people standing up there. Uh, and they're getting a really good view from up there, but I think we're getting the best view from the boat because we get to see everything. So this is so much cooler. <laughs> okay, so we're getting really close to the falls now. It's windy and it is really misty. It's like we're going straight into the fall. Wow. This is one of the coolest things I've ever done. Woo I had no idea we were going to go so close. I thought we were going to stay at, like up there, but we're actually inside the falls. If you look that way, you can't see anything. It's just mist and white foam. That's it. You can't even see the sky. I've never, ever, ever seen anything like it. And I don't think I ever will. <laughs> I'm officially splashed. So we're on our way back now. We were just basically inside of the falls. And now we're passing the American Falls again on this side. Getting a little windy. <laughs> Getting really windy. <laughs> but it's a nice breeze, it feels nice. 
It's not cold, so I don't mind. I'm dripping. I'm so soaked, but it was 100% worth it. I can't even tell you how much worth it. It was just incredible. What an experience. What an amazing time I've had here at Niagara Falls. Nature is so, so cool. I actually have a question for you for a chance to win this really cool Niagara Falls Canada book. And the question is, what is the coolest nature experience you've ever had? Please comment below for a chance to win this. And in the next episode, I'm gonna show you some more of Toronto. Don't miss that. Bye-bye.